I felt hopeless after I received my diagnosis. I didn't know what to do. I felt so heavy, like a giant weight was on my shoulders, keeping me down. On top of that, remembering to take my medications and going back and forth to my doctor's appointments was a challenge. At one point, managing my symptoms and daily schedule became a real struggle. One day, I just couldn't take it anymore. My symptoms had gotten worse, and it was taking a toll on me and my family. I wasn't well. My partner called the local crisis line, and I was admitted into the hospital. After my symptoms were much more stable, I met with a therapist and we talked about techniques to help me manage my symptoms. She recommended that I attend a support group. That's where I met Zoe. Zoe is a certified peer support specialist. She was and continues to be an important part of my recovery journey. A certified peer support specialist, or CPS, is someone who has had their own personal life experience with a mental health condition and is further along in their treatment journey. They have been trained to use their personal experiences to help others cope with similar health conditions. Certified peer support specialists, like Zoe, are part of my treatment team. What made Zoe so helpful was that she knew exactly what I was going through because she had been there herself. A CPS will start by getting to know more about your situation and listen to identify areas you might need help with, as well as areas of strength where you have overcome difficult situations. A CPS provides emotional support, feedback, and helps problem solve to help you make good decisions as you work on your goals for recovery. What makes the CPS so unique is that these individuals are willing to share their stories. Other men and women just like me can learn what worked for them in their recovery journey and over time see it is possible to take control of their symptoms. Sarah, the last time we talked, you were having more negative thoughts. Those can be really tough. I've had periods where I felt so down on myself, like no matter what I did, I couldn't do anything right. I knew things were getting worse for me when I noticed the negative thoughts distracting me most of the day for several days in a row. This was a pattern I discovered in my mental illness. Were you able to journal about it like your therapist recommended? We've both benefited a lot from using that technique. I did a couple of times and it helped. It feels so calming to write down my thoughts. And then I find that when I wake up in the morning, I feel a bit better and able to move forward with my day. Getting ready for work or starting my activities for the day used to be a real struggle, but the journaling helps me get through the day in a better way. That's great, Sarah. Keep writing. It's a great way to express your feelings and it really helped me. I still keep a journal by my bed for whenever I feel the need to write about my thoughts and feelings. In addition to sharing experiences and providing emotional support, a CPS's role is to help peers identify and improve their coping skills. They can help create recovery plans and provide support for other challenges in life. You said you were having a hard time getting to your doctor appointments from home because the bus doesn't have easily accessible routes. I did a little research, and I found that there are a few agencies that help with transportation. Would you like me to help you fill out the applications for transportation assistance? Thank you, Zoe. Yes, I would love your help. I get so flustered when I'm late for my appointments, and it makes my symptoms even worse. The last time I was late, I felt so guilty that I just gave up and didn't go to my appointment. The guilt was overwhelming. I kept thinking, why can't I get myself together? I'm happy to help you with the paperwork. Also, why don't we talk about some ways to help you cope when things don't go the way you planned? I've experienced that myself, and I know how that can feel, especially when you have so much going on. I'm so thankful I had Zoe in my life. She was a great mentor and taught me how to focus on healthy, positive thoughts, feelings, and actions. Zoe was such a big influence in my life, and she helped me in so many ways. I want to help others too, so I'm thinking about becoming a certified peer specialist myself one day. I plan to talk to Zoe more about the certification process. It typically includes training, volunteer hours, and a final exam. I hope that with dedication and her support, I can also help others as a CPS in the future. I have a mental illness. It has significantly impacted me in the past, but with my treatment plan and my supports in place, I am taking important steps in my ongoing recovery journey. Thanks to a great support system like this, I was able to recognize my symptoms and learn healthy ways to cope with them. I am sure you will too, especially with the help of a CPS. <laughs>